I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin Kadoha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You got to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy Start out of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York under Commander Jenny Ahana. Do you understand? We not affiliated with any Israelite group on the face of the planet Earth, man. We out here teaching the truth according to the Bible to all and every single one of blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Teaching the truth according to the Bible because the truth is what black people need to hear, man. The truth is something that we need to follow in order for us not to get played and tricked out. Do you understand? Black people don't understand that following the traditions of men and following America's culture and society and holidays, we being pimped out by the white man. We being pimped out by our oppressors. We being pimped out by, by, these by these colonizers. We being straight up pimped up and down, man. You understand? America tell you to go out there, celebrate Halloween, and you better bring me my money back. Go ahead and buy all the candy, go ahead and do all the wickedness, and you better bring me my candy back. America tell you to go celebrate your Thanksgiving, sit around here and tell you, I don't care what you tell each other, but make sure you come and spend your money on our turkeys. Make sure you come and spend your money on our candy, make sure you come spend your money on our costumes. Just make sure you come and give us back what's ours. Black people don't understand that following America's culture and holidays, America's pimping us out, man. America is pimping us out and running our pockets straight dry. We don't understand that sending our children out to go celebrate some Halloween. We don't understand that you sending them out there as if you committed first degree murder. As if you sending them to a pedophile. As if you sending them to go into the pit of danger. You sending them right to the grave and right to the jail cell. Straight to the penthouse when you let them out there to go wild out and go wear a costume and go knock on some stranger's door. All year long, and since they came out the womb, you've been telling your child on how to stay safe, how to stay, uh, stay safe, and stranger danger, stranger danger. We must have stopped teaching that a long time ago, because we, we we done lost the idea and understand the definition and context of a stranger. Do you understand? A stranger ain't just somebody that's evil, but a stranger is also somebody that is not of your people, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? We don't understand that the Lord has severed us from these other nations, man. The Lord gave us our own thing to do. Our own thing to do that won't cause death with our own people. That won't cause us to go homeless or to go broke. That won't cause your woman to want to leave you. That won't, want, that won't cause your child to get stuck on drugs. But yet we've been pimped out, man. We've been played out. We totally don't understand that, that, that God chose us. He chose blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Just imagine you had a pickup game, right? You about to get picked up, the, uh, the, the basketball game or whatever rolling on, and the captain decided to pick you. You feel special. So when blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians hear that God chose you, you should be jumping up and down, man, because you on the team that's going to win. But we don't understand that we are special, man. We don't understand that we're not supposed to be celebrating America's wicked holidays, man. We don't understand that America's holidays means the destruction of us. When you go out and you say you just send your child out to go uh, celebrate some Halloween and to go dress up as somebody is not, so hold on. We gonna trust the people that had us uh, had us in chains and had it and lynched us on the, on the trees and sick their dogs on us and fire hose and turn around and celebrate the exact same thing that they celebrated. 
turn around and do and lynch on to the same thing that they doing, and these are the ones that kill us every single day, it don't make no sense. It don't make absolutely no sense when we supposed to cleave to each other. We supposed to cleave to everybody you see on these tall tribes sign right here, man, which is black Latinos and Native American Indians, man. So we gonna bring out the truth, man. We are special people, man. And we not supposed to be doing the same thing that America is doing, or any other nation at that. Read. 14 and two. Right. Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse three. Two, you said verse, verse two, Slavik. For thou art a holy people. You understand? For thou art a holy people. What does holy mean? Holy means separate. Do you understand? Thou art a separate people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. Once again, God chose you to be a separate people, man. To be a people separate from who? Separate from everyone else on the face of this earth. Everyone that is not on this side right here, you should have some type of suspicion about them every time they are around. Every time they are around, you should understand that this people not only had your people in slavery, but don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about your children. They don't care about you. They want you to go and celebrate Valentine's Day and go to church and celebrate Thanksgiving and celebrate Christmas and celebrate Halloween which all is the destruction of my people and the confusion of my people. And Cap brought out that our weak leadership that has no hope, that doesn't care about another black man's household, they want you to do the same thing so America can continue to pimp you out and dry your pockets dirty and dry your pockets dry to the point you can't even take care of your own family. Hold that for a second. Don't let it be a brother that has to go to work on, Amer on one of America's so-called holidays. That brother sitting there sad that he's at work to make money, to put children in his own, and to put food in his children's mouth, and to feed his family. But he feels sad because he has to be at work on Christmas. He feels he's doing the wrong thing because he has to do overtime to pay his bills and can't be with his children on, on Halloween. The whole family is sitting there with their heads down because they think that a man that is going out there, a woman that's going out there, to go and make money for their family and for, to, to, to continue to pay food on the house, on the table. They looked at it as they doing something wrong. They sad because they can't be with their child on America's wicked holiday, man. Black man, you are doing the absolute right thing when you were sitting there deciding to, to choose the route to continue to feed your family. You understand? Skip that wicked behind American holiday, man. Because it ain't nothing but destruction that's going to come from it when you decide to celebrate it. Read. And the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. You understand? And the Lord chose us to be a peculiar people unto himself, man. A special people unto himself, man. You cannot be special if you're doing the same thing that everybody's doing. How is that considered special? How is that, con uh, is that considered separate when you're doing the common thing to do? How is that considered special, man? We got to wake up and understand what the truth is saying. According to the Bible, these ain't my words. These is words that's in the Bible, man. Do you understand? Drop that, give me Leviticus, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, give me Leviticus 20 and 26. Do you understand? The Lord's high holy days is for his special people, man. And, these, and the Lord's high holy days, the, the Lord's high holy days is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a holy day that is, for, that is for Israel only, man. That's what you call special. This party is only for blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This group is only for blacks, Latinos, uh, Latinos and Native American Indians. That is what's special. I can, you cannot consider it special if everybody can get, it, can get it in. If everybody can get it in, it's not special. It's simple. Ain't nothing magical or mystical about it. It's only for the people that you see on this, on this side right here. Read. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. Uh -huh. And ye shall be holy unto me, right. for I the Lord am holy, right. Go ahead. and have severed you from other people. You understand, the seven meaning completely had cut you off from other people. Completely said that you're not going to be like them other people. Completely say you're not going to dress like them other people. You're not going to act like them other people. You're not going to celebrate what them other people celebrate. Read it again. From the top. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy and have severed you from other people. You understand? That is something that is special. That is something that every father has once in their life at least told their child. That you're gonna be you're gonna be different from them that are doing evil, that are doing wicked. Do you understand? So when do we stop telling each other that? 
Who told us that to love everybody and everybody's equal? When nothing in the world has shown you yet, has proven fact to you that anything is equal. There's a lion and there's a gazelle. There's a predator and there's a prey. Nothing is equal on this earth. So who told you that you should be equal? Because God just told you that he, sa he severed you from everybody else. So who told you to be equal? Your Christian pastor, T.D. Jakes, Al Sharpton, Creflo Dollar, Martin Luther King, or Michael Luther King. It don't matter. This is who told you that you should be equal to go. No, go ahead. Give our oppressor the money. Give our oppressor our children. When you send your children out, you are sending them to a death penalty. When you send them out, I don't know if anybody watched the news down in Texas, it was nothing but a royal bro, a lot of bloodshed, a bloodbath. Every single holiday of America that a black man celebrates, it leads to something tragic, man. The brother lose that woman, a woman loses her life, young sisters getting kidnapped. Do y'all not see the statistic of how many of us are just disappearing? Right. And then who are the only ones do you see speaking about it? Come on, Christians. The ones that go to church every Sunday, are any of those pastors speaking up about any of these young girls missing? Right. Any of my young brothers missing? Anybody speaking up about the tragedies that happen when we follow the traditions of men? Is anybody speaking about the, 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 the magical life that continues when we follow the law, statute, and commandment and the high holy days in the Bible? We talking about it, man. Read. That you should be mine. A man also or a woman that have a familiar spirit. Hold on, slow it down. That you should be what? That ye should be mine. You understand? God severed us from other people so that, that, so that we would be his. So that we would be God's. So who told us to go and join the people that we that we that he told us to be separate from? That he distinctly that he distinctively said, I'm severing you from everyone else because you're special to me, because I care about you. Right? We shouldn't be worshiping no other God. Drop that. Give me Exodus 20 and 2, 20 and 3. We shouldn't be worshiping no other gods, man. And when we hear the word worship, once again, don't, don't look at it in a Christian mindset. Look at it in the mindset of, of, of a black man, because it's a black man's book, do you understand? Worship can simply mean that you are, you don't, you're not put on a costume, but you're deciding to sell the candy still. You're not doing this, but you're still doing this inside of something that you're not supposed to be worshiping. You might not smoke, but you don't speak up against smoking. I appreciate it, brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? Grab your flyer, brother. You understand? I thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate it, sis. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. God shall have no other gods before me. Now, do you understand? Celebrating America's holidays, that's, that's worshiping another god. When you decide to go and celebrate Halloween or your own birthday or Valentine's Day or Christmas, you're worshiping another god. You're participating in that holiday. You're participating in worshiping something that is not of you, that is not of God. But hold on. How do you know this is talking about blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians? Read verse 2. Skip up verse 2 to me. Verse 2. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Who came out of Egypt? Who was in captivity in Egypt? Who was the ones that were serving in Egypt in hard bondage? Who? Was that, was that the European race? I don't think so. Was that the Chinese race? I don't think so. It was us. Now read verse 3 again. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Verse 2, read it again. I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thy God, your God. Read. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Black, Latino, Native American Indians, you're the one that came out of the land of Egypt. You're the one that came out of that coast and was put on them ships. You're the ones that this scripture is talking about. And God is telling you this for a reason. Not only because he is God and you should. Hey, appreciate it, sister. Grab a fly right here for me. You understand what I'm saying? God is saying to you, that you should have no other gods before him. None whatsoever. Hey, appreciate it, brother. Go and grab you a flyer too, man. Grab you a flyer. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You understand? Read it again. Verse, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Give all of your love to a God that care about you. Because the God that's smoking don't care about you. 
The God of celebrating your own birthday or whatever don't care about you. The God of celebrating Halloween don't care about you. Do you understand what I'm saying? We don't understand, appreciate, hey, thank you, sister. Thank you. Do you understand? We don't understand that America's holidays are not meant for our children. Halloween is not meant for your children. It's nothing but a money scheme. It's nothing but collecting your mer uh, collecting merchandise. You spend your money, they give you some costume to worship the dead, while they just racking up off you, drying you loose, drying you loose. And then on top of that, are you spending your hard earned money? On top of you spending that money, we turn around and we are allowing danger into our children's life. A grown man dressing up in a costume when you have your children that are looking to see what you're gonna do, that are learning to you, not just by your mouth, not just by your mouth, but by your actions. Do you understand? Read that verse, uh, verse uh, two again. I am the Lord thy God, which had brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Do you understand? God, shall, God said that you shall have no other gods before me. God absolutely hates, absolutely hates America's culture. God absolutely hates America's holidays. Why does he hate it? Not just because he told you to follow what he said, he the one that gave you life. Do you understand? Not just because of that, but he's trying to save you from a trap, black man. He's trying to save you from falling into a trap that is going to destroy you. That is going to put you in a mental home. In the mental home where? America is one big mental home. One that is confusing black people. One that is captured so, uh, of, our, of our weak black leaders that has allowed you to believe that celebrating America's holidays is something good. When the scriptures tell you that it, the woe to him, woe to him paraphrasing, woe to him that call him good evil and evil good. What is good about Halloween? Candy? So the entire time, every time you go to the store with your child, they like, mommy, daddy, can I get some candy? You like, no, you gonna eat some real food. But on Halloween, all the candy in the world. Mommy, daddy, you telling them stranger danger. Halloween, go to the stranger, there's no danger. It don't make no sense, man. Drop that, give me um, Amos 5 and 21. Because we don't understand. Every, every loving Christian like to say what? Uh, hate is a strong word. Are you sure you hate? Are you sure you just don't dislike it? He understand the scriptures is saying, I'm not just saying it. Everything we say uh, in the ICBK is coming out of the Bible, do you understand? You understand, God absolutely hates and despises our feast days. The feast days of America. Do you understand? Read. Amos chapter 5, verse 21. Uh -huh. I hate. Oh. Whoa, Christian is saying, I what? I hate. I, I, I like. I hate. I dislike. I hate. I strongly dislike. I hate. God said, I hate. I hate. That's a strong word, ain't it, Christian? Ain't it? Ain't it America? Ain't it? It say, I hate. And this isn't just no ordinary person. This is God speaking. He is saying that I hate. What does he hate? Read. I despise your feast days. He hates and he despises your feast days. Why would he love America's feast days when America's feast days is meant to destroy you? Why would a God, a father, like or love any feast day that is meant to destroy you? Why would he like it? What sense does that make? Why would it be anything I want his name to be with it? And then we turn around and, 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 and mingle God's name in it and mix God's name into America uh, and into just as a man. Nah, read it from the top. I hate, I despise your feast days. I hate and I despise your feast days. Read. And I will not smell in your solemn assembly. And God ain't gonna do nothing with it. Why would he want to? Why would he want to sit here and push on and love the fact that you are celebrating the slaughter of, of 77 plus million uh, Native American Indians? Why would he sit here and want you to celebrate some Martin Luther King Day? Go on the cookout, go run out this park and this park. Why would he why would he why would he like that? Why? Why would he like the fact that you are dressing up as some heathen? Or you're dressing up as a ghost or a witch when he is absolutely against witchcraft? Why? Why would he like it? God said, I hate and I despise your feast days, man. God don't want nothing to do with that, man. 
And God is going to punish you when you decide to, uh, to mingle with that. God is going to punish you when you decide to deal with that, man. God gave us some specific, specific high holy days that he wanted his children to follow, man. He labeled it in the book of Leviticus 23, man. Matter of fact, drop that. Give me Leviticus. Hold that. Now drop that. Give me Leviticus 23, verse, uh, verse 2. Do you understand? God laid down what it is that he was going to make. He the one that made the day. He the one that made the night. You understand what I'm saying? He the one that made all of it. So don't he have a right to tell you which days is going to be special and which days is going to be ordinary? Not you. Not America. Not these other nations. God gave you your own high holy days to follow, man. And these ain't just random days. These are days that glorify Israel. That are the saving of Israel. Rather it be the taking out of captivity of Israel or celebrating the destruction of Israel's enemies, man. Of God's enemies, man. Read. Oh, give me uh, Leviticus uh, 23 and 2. Book of Leviticus chapter 23 and 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. Now this is very particular here. Very specific. It says, speak unto the children of Israel. Once again, we just brought it out. The children of Israel are blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. It says, speak unto the children of Israel. Right? Go ahead. And say unto them, uh -huh. concerning the feast of the Lord. You understand? It's saying to them, concerning the feast of the Lord. So why is your Christian pastor telling you that Christmas is the feast of the Lord? It's one of the feasts of the Lord. Why is our Christian pastors and so-called black leaders and Martin Luther King and T.D. Jakes, why are they telling you that Halloween is a feast day of the Lord? I don't read none of that in the book of Leviticus, but we're going to break it out. Read. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Hold on, read it from the top, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Which shall which ye shall be claim, proclaim of holy convocations. Holy uh, uh, holy days. Something that is separate. Something that is separate for a separate people. That is not for every everybody. And that is what's so glorious about this Bible. Finding out the truth about this Bible, it taught me, it taught me a couple things. Finding the truth about this Bible in the ISVPK, you understand? It taught me a couple things, man. It taught me that I no longer have to look up to be equal to some to some oppressor, to some other nation, when we are naturally born better than them. It taught me that I have we have certain parties that they can't get in. You understand? Read. Even these are my feasts. Even these are my feasts. In the book of Leviticus chapter 23 and out through the Bible. You understand? In the book of Leviticus it is telling you what are those feast days. Do you understand? And when reading Leviticus 23, I don't see no Halloween in there. I don't see no Christmas in there. I don't see no Thanksgiving in there. I don't see a Martin Luther King day in there. I don't see a Memorial Day in there. You understand? I don't see a, a, a Labor Day in there. I don't see any of America's holidays or the traditions of men listed in the, in the book of Leviticus that we're supposed to follow, man. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain. And a lot of sorrow got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road, like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues, call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G. Plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom, the breath of life, I believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword. 